Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly forecast in the uh, subject of love, your romance love forecast for July 2019. If you are not a Virgo and you're just watching because you're curious about a Virgo, you're welcome to stick around, but I have specific cross watcher video specifically for the cross watcher so if you're interested in that go ahead and check that out there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to the cross watching videos or if you're a virgo and you want to cross watch for somebody else check out the cross watcher videos we're going to see what's coming up for you guys uh in july in the area of love and uh romance one more shuffle here and we got one two three four and five and after we look at your cards guys i'm gonna pull a message for you from your soulmate from this love message deck it's really cool um we're gonna see and even if you haven't met your soulmate yet like what your future soulmate wants you to know we're gonna pull a card for that at the end all right and as always, the deck info for the decks I'm using is in the description as well. I love this deck. It's such a beautiful deck. Um, you've got Knight of Wands coming up. Kind of like you're starting off with this energy. Or this is the underlying foundation of the energy for the situation. Uh, you've got Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a lot of fire. It's a lot of passion. So you may be feeling this way about another person. Or there could be somebody who mercury retrograde is causing to resurface for you who feels this way about you uh i kind of joke about knight of wands when he shows up in a love reading i say you know knight of wands he's here for a good time but he's not here for a long time knight of wands could be somebody who comes in and out in and out in and out um obviously you guys are on different paths and you're dealing with different uh, levels of people. Some of you are dealing with really high vibrational people. Some of you are dealing with very low vibrational people. So this passion is going to manifest in different ways. For some of you, you're absolutely dealing with somebody who just kind of comes in and out. For other ones of you, it's just a very, very passionate connection. Just very, very uh, physically intimate or strong attraction, strong chemistry. Uh, some of you might feel like there's a new person that's come in and that it's going to be moving very quickly, much faster than you had anticipated. You know, um, Virgos, you all don't really have a reputation for being uh, like super out there or like super uh, like extremely passionate the way kind of scorpio has a has has a a, a what, what do you call it oh gosh the words escaping me stereotype stereotype you know but you know obviously people are people there's passionate people there are people who aren't passionate so whatever is happening for you in july it's bringing up your passions right you're coming in with that fiery energy you're coming in with that passion energy some of you are dealing with an ultimatum from a person coming in uh, who may be a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries may be kind of showing up and giving you some kind of an ultimatum. Sometimes Knight of Wands for me is an ultimatum card. But so this person's coming in really hot, really fast, really strong. Or it could be the roles could be reversed for go. It could be you where you're just really having a hard time getting somebody out of your head and you're like i just i need to get some of that you know so you might be a lot bolder than you typically or usually are all right but there's definitely passion energy coming up and here we have the chariot and the chariot is fast fast moving energy uh the chariot is to me the card that says once you make up your mind about what you want it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen fast so again, I feel like there's this whirlwind romance or this whirlwind uh, affair or, you know, whirlwind relationship that you're kind of on the brink of Virgo because the second you give yourself permission or the second you decide that you're going to take a chance on this relationship or this connection, it's going to move forward quickly. That's what I feel, you know, when I when I have these two cards together. The chariot is also about, you know, a lot of the times taking matters into your own hands, taking um, 
responsibility over the steering wheel so to speak like you're the one moving ahead or you're doing things kind of very independently so virgo to be honest with you i feel that for the majority of you you're finding yourself even if you're not an overly bold person even if you're not typically the kind of person who makes the first move i just kind of feel like there's someone that's catching your eye and you're like oh heck like you're just you're, you're going for it you're going for it and maybe for some of you you're tempted to go after somebody from the past that you feel like that was the one that got away or uh, it could be a new person that's come in and you're just like I, I don't know what it is about this person but i need to find out uh, very, very bold, very, very bold energy. Okay. So either way, either you're approaching this person and it's unlike you, or somebody is approaching you very, uh, persistently, and it might not be like you to give this a chance or to let this kind of person in, but you seem to be going for it in July, Virgo. You seem to be, uh, you know, just kind of smitten a little bit here with this person and you're ready to, to move forward. And it feels to me like once it gets going, it's going really, really fast, like, like this ball rolling down a hill, you know, it might start up slow, but then it just really picks up speed. And before you know it, one thing leads to another. So I'm just going to say be cautious of that energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that something bad is going to happen. But when something is moving that fast, it leaves us sometimes in a situation where emotions run really, really high. And when emotions run really, really high, we can have very roller coaster -y relationships. So I'm just saying, you know, be cautious of that. We've got King of Cups. All right. Now, this is interesting because... You have the chariot here, which um, is uh, astrologically associated with cancer. And king of cups could also be a cancer as well, but it could be a water sign. It could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or a cancer. Um, so some of you might be dealing with a water sign, or some of you may have water in your chart. That's really, really going to be predominantly present in, in July in love. But this is the thing. With the water signs... Um, or the water cup it's also letting us know that this is an emotion or a relationship that even if it's starting off with um, you know fire with passion somebody's catching feelings somebody's catching feelings it's inevitable now out of the water signs king of cups can sometimes be like somebody who can be withholding of their emotions so you or this other person might not be putting all of their cards on the table like they might not be wearing their heart on their sleeve or making it obvious but somebody's catching emotions somebody's definitely catching emotions okay sometimes for me also king of cups is like the husband or the father card so um, I just feel like this decision that you're making is a decision that's going to be for something long lasting. It's becoming something long lasting or something significant. You know, we didn't have like the knight show up here. We didn't have a, a page show up here. We had a king show up here. So king for me is like long lasting. It's like somebody who's like, okay, if we're going to do this, let's do this for real. So it might start off as fun and games, but then somebody's catching feelings. That's what it feels like to me. And you've got six of pentacles. I like this. I'm always happy to see six of pentacles in a love reading. Uh, six of pentacles could mean like good luck coming in terms of finances and money where all of a sudden there's this windfall of money or you're receiving generosity in some way or you're getting out of debt, all of that stuff. But for me, when it shows up in a love reading, unless I am reading about like a couple and their money situation, I take it and I read it as an energy card. Now, those of you who are in a relationship and you've had issues with money between you and your partner, then this could be a really good card letting you know that that's going to get balanced out. You know, like if you feel like it's been unfair or uneven, that's getting balanced out between you guys in terms of, you know, who's bringing what to the table. But energetically speaking, when I see six of pentacles in a love reading, it tells me a couple of things. It tells me the energy is shifting in a positive way where you are getting a really, really, really healthy grasp on receiving and giving, right? Sometimes we give too much and we get burned and then we close ourselves off and then other people think we're stingy or we're being a hard ass and they don't realize that, hey, you know what? I gave a lot and I got burned. So now I'm being cautious. I'm being careful, right? We go to the other extreme 
or sometimes we get into the energy where it's a hard it's hard for us to receive from somebody else to allow someone to step in and to help us to allow somebody to to come in and, and like you know bring in support like we kind of feel like we have to do everything on our own and it feels scary for us to let somebody in or to allow somebody to help us and six of pentacles says you're balancing all of that out you're finally coming into this even give and take energy in your love life and in your relationships so um, even though this person's maybe coming up with a lot of passion, you or you're coming towards somebody with a lot of passion, a, a line is being drawn at some point where the feelings are developing and it's like, look, you know, this is great, the passion's great, but if we're going to make this work, here's what the give and take has to be. Here's what like the equal, um, uh, you know, balance has to be in the relationship. So you're manifesting this equality, you're manifesting this, this, this flow of give and take, whereas maybe in the past, you've been in relationships where you felt like you were just giving and giving and giving and getting nothing back or maybe you were in relationships where people were accusing you Virgo and saying that oh you never try and you never make an effort and and you just take and take and take and take so whatever extreme you found yourself in you know um you're finding that that is being balanced out that you're finally mastering that and you're coming into these fair and equal partnerships so that you can have this fair and even give and take I'm always happy to see Six of Pentacles in a love situation. And oh my God, you guys, look, we got Queen of Cups here. We had King of Cups. Right? Queen of Cups. And Six of Pentacles. I just got chills. That just gave me chills, Virgo. I'm excited for you. Now, I know Virgo is not a water sign. And this is why I always say in my readings, I don't like to get too hung up on the astrolog astrological association of the cards in the reading because we all have different elements in our chart right so even though this is for an earth sign many of you may have water in your moon or in your rising or it could just signify what the cups signify and the cups are about emotions the cups are about feelings so this is telling me that you are finding your emotional match you know the king of cups and the queen of cups they're 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 the perfect match one is a king one is a queen they're both royalty one is the match masculine element one is the feminine element and by you know also we all have masculine and feminine within ourselves right so you could be a you can be a feminine mas uh, uh, man and you can be a masculine female or, or vice versa or you can be balanced in both but it's this perfect balance it's this perfect balance of uh masculine and feminine uh traits and uh royalty like being on the same level uh, and being in the same element which is being in the element of the emotions being in the element of of feelings and the six of pentacles is this even give and take this generosity this giving and receiving so i i think you're starting off with a lot of fire and a lot of passion but like i said once this ball starts rolling it's just like boom 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 and before you know it it's going into this very mature love this very strong connection this very strong um soulmate connection where you're with someone who you feel is an equal and virgo this is really big for you i'm not trying to be like rude when i'm saying this i'm not saying this as an insult but you know virgo has a reputation for being this way and a lot of the virgos i have known has have been this way uh but you know virgo you all kind of second guess you know what you're being given in life or what you're being given in terms of a relationship because it's very easy for you to spot imperfections virgo is very good at spotting anything about a situation that could be better that could be improved that maybe is not you know 100 percent. so for you to be in this energy where you're like this is my person this is my like like, like that's really big that's really big or even to be in an energy where you feel someone is really like your equal that's very very big because Virgo, you all can sometimes be skeptical or you all can be tempted to just wait and see and hold out for better. Like maybe there's going to be somebody better or maybe there's going to be somebody that's better balanced or whatever it might be. But here we have this perfect match. 
So Virgo, I feel like you're coming into this energy where you're like, oh my goodness, like this is the perfect match. That's huge. That's a really big deal, right? And there's feelings, there's true feelings here that are um, that are uh, developing out of this connection. Let's go ahead and see the message from your soulmate. And um, as always, guys, like I said, if, if you want to know about the decks, I always have the links in the description. Let's see what we have coming up here for Virgo, your message from your soulmate. Now, this applies whether or not you've met your soulmate yet, what your soulmate would want you to know on a soul level. And don't forget to watch your moon sign, rising sign videos as well, because some months it may resonate with you more or it might just add a little extra information. So here we've got this card. None of the cards here have names in this deck. So I can't say, oh, this is, you know, the Queen of Cups. Or this is, the cards don't have names individually, unfortunately, in this deck. And I'll read the message on the back in a moment. But I want to intuitively look at this. So this feels to me like these two people are coming together and praying or wishing or coming together and putting their inner energy and hoping something grows right it's this black and white picture right but this light is coming in so i feel that maybe both of you have been in an energy in a while where life has felt boring where life has felt um kind of stagnant but there's this coming together there's this magnetism there's this being on the same level see like one's not standing over the other they're on the same level as is king and queen uh the queen so there's they're, they're they're feeling you as an equal they're longing to be near you as an equal and something about the connection is bringing in hope bringing in light uh and i just kind of imagine maybe i have an overactive imagination i kind of imagine them coming together and holding hands and praying and then like colors starting to fill up so um maybe they're just looking to you to bring light and color back into their boring life the love from the soul is holy without condemnation it sees imperfection because of what it sees more love flows oh my god i just got chills what did i say virgo you guys are so good at spotting out imperfections and your soulmate's like look you know i know that you can see imperfections but because of the love we're going to be able to f have this free flow and this is what six of pentacles was about it was about this free flow right coming into the even give and take coming into that flow so your soulmate wants you to know that this is going to be the recipe to the success of your relationship and they want you to know that they know they're not perfect right but they're doing what they can and and they're doing what they can to show up and to uh you know be seen as the equal for you that that you all are equals um and that this is like a soul love this is a soul love so they're gonna know immediately that you all are meant to be together that there's a soulmate connection they're looking for that they're ready they're ready for the real deal right and they're just saying if we can see past the imperfections love is going to help us come into that free flow and to have that that long lasting relationship so that's exciting exciting virgo um i encourage you also to watch your weekly forecast guys i know that we get really caught up with the love readings like the um major uh like cross watcher videos and the love forecast and we forget about ourselves and that's why i do the love reading separately on my channel because every single week i do a forecast for each of the zodiac signs because i want you to have a video about you and nobody else just about you and your path and your journey as you're going through mastering your own spirituality your own awakening your own career your own finances your own uh like interpersonal relationships outside of romance so uh, and i try to keep them brief so i really encourage you to check out the weekly forecasts as well those are available every single week uh the ones for the coming week will be up shortly and i just hope that you make advantage uh, take advantage of that resource also every single day uh card of the day and the pick a card game some of you have been having fun playing the pick a card game with me on social media on amethyst angel at facebook and instagram that's also a really fun way of getting messages and regularly in between the videos but i thank you so much for liking sharing commenting subscribing thank you for being here and i'm wishing you a fabulous july